Charles Jr. here for another adventure. Today, where am I? <laughs> I'm in the woods. What can I say? I am somewhere in Douglas County, Oregon. I'm not going to tell you exactly where. Some of you will know because some of you are actually here when I'm making this video up for everybody to, to enjoy. We are up here doing a car carnelian agate restoration project. This is an area where previous years of digging has caused havoc on the area. And one of the local people here around here who's really passionate about this area, Kate, she coordinated this to have everybody come up here and fill in around the live trees and fill in some pits and everything else like that. And as a bonus, we get to go and pick and look for material. The carnelian agate and a lot of jasper. So I'm going to take you guys up to the dig site area. If you can see me, there we go. And take you guys up to the dig site area and show you what's been going on and show you some of the work that the Mrs. Jaws Jr. and I are doing and some of the work of some of the others. So we will be right back with you. Okay, everybody, here's an example of what we're doing. We have a live tree that's been dug out around. And the Mrs. Charles Jr. and I have already done, filled this about halfway full. And we're going to take this tailings pile and put it back down in there. I just finished this tree here. So we got it, uh, this tailings pile pushed back in there with a bunch of rocks with it uh, leveled off and packed down and it's looking really good. So I think this one here is done. But I'm going to carry you guys over here to another fellow rock hound and have you show you what he's done. We have... This was a cave when I got here. This was dug in almost underneath that tree over there. And he showed up this morning, started working on it. He's got something red right there. Where's that? What's this right here? Is this anything or not? Nope, it's nothing. It nah. goes back in the hole. Okay. But the rewards have been good. And here's what he's found in the process. So here's an example of Jasper, of a nice piece of Jasper. There's some carnelian in here, I promise. <laughs> now there's some agate. Yep. It must be down in the bottom. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> But that's what we're doing, is yeah. that we are going to be picking up smaller pieces as we're filling in these holes. And then we're tomorrow we're going to probably tick, pick one piece and dig in that that's away from trees and spend a couple hours doing that. Perfect. So, but Friday afternoon, no better place to be. Uh, with a bunch of rock hounds out here filling in holes and enjoying this quiet, wonderful place. Hey everybody, well, I am back. I'll show you more of what the juice with the Mrs. Jaws Jr. and I did up here, but here. Down here in a bigger pit, bigger hole, and people falling all over the place upon themselves. Yeah, don't show that on you. Okay. This is the area that we worked on. 
much better than a three foot hole underneath this tree and so that looks a lot better and then again the area that we just finished off over here as well so we definitely made an improvement we'll do a little bit more raking smoothing it out and then we're going to call it good and you know something I'm going to take a tromp above me here because I just heard of somebody going and doing an oh yeah so when you hear that with a rock hound, it sounds like uh, they found something cool. I hear something. I hear him. Now that you've seen what the Mrs. Jaws Jr. and I have done, let's uh, look at other couple other. Let's put it this way. I'll, I'll call them a couple other characters, rock hounding characters down here, and see what they're doing. How's it going? And I'm going to be nosy. And check out their bucket. Yeah. Uh, here's a piece of an agate right here. Oh. So they are far from being skunked. They've done pretty good. Seems like it's slowing down up here though a little bit right up as we go up the hill. You, are you sure it's just not getting tired? Yeah, it could. <laughs> I know that's my problem. It could be. Mm. Oh, there. A chunk of jasper. Good enough. Jasper. <laughs> Throw it in the bucket just in case. Take it dried up, dude. But you know, not every time do we have to go out and find the biggest ones. You no, know, I would so. say the biggest one always isn't the most character. Yep, and this one here. It's got all kinds of color to it, some druzy on some, some top, yes, I know my daughter's going to want this one. Sorry, it's not yours, it's not mine, I can't keep it, I'm not sending it to you. But, the color in that is beautiful. And fresh out of the ground. Got some blacks, some reds, a little bit of browns in it. And that looks like a mud ball. Some pretty finds around here, but we're still not finding the elusive carnelian agate. Okay, everybody. I've got a specimen here that I want to show you. One of the group members here today dug it up. It's not mine yet. No, I'll make sure that he gets it back. So just a minute and I will show this off to you. Look at that beauty. I, I feel bad, yes. I wish, it, I wish Washington would take it. <laughs> I will just take it. I think he did pretty good. We'll put it with Dan Cooper. Now, I will walk it over here to him so everybody knows that I will give it back. <laughs> There you go. Nice one. Ouch, it hurts to give it away. <laughs> well, everybody, we had a successful day. We didn't find as much of the carnelian as we were hoping for, but that's okay. We still found some. There's an example of it right there. Let's change, turn you guys around so you can see it up in the sun. No, that ain't working either. Found a lot of pretties. This is was in the Mrs. Jones Jr. bucket, and this is what was in mine. That stuff there is from the river from yesterday. So there's a lot of interesting stuff up there. This really got our attention. So looking forward to getting this home, getting it cleaned up, seeing what we can do with it, figuring out what some of this is. Most of it's jasper, which is fine, but I believe this, this is the type of agate, and I want to figure out what it is. So, we are done for the day. We're going to barbecue up a steak, and Mrs. Jaws Jr., who's hiding around the corner over there because she refuses to be on camera. Let me see what happens if I walk back here. She's going to walk around the other side. 
Yep, see, she's gone. She just really refused to be on camera. Poor thing. She's got a huge fan base. We found out today. For never being seen, she's got a pretty good fan base. But, from Solo Cup, from South Umpqua Falls Campground, we had a great time. So remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine, having a great time, playing with rocks. This is the Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya!